So today we have a video that's going to be supremely exciting for all you computer science aspirants. Gradwine is going to tell you the top 50 universities to pursue a master's degree in computer science in the USA. Now, you might be wondering that there's so many rankings around, right? There's the QS rankings, there's the Times rankings and several others. What makes Gradwine's rankings different? Well, these rankings are focused on international applicants, more so Indian applicants applying to the US. So we take into account factors like return on investment, the job opportunities upon graduating, the reputation of the university, and overall how the university is going to elevate your career. We've gathered this data through the thousands of computer science aspirants we've helped out over the last few years, and they come back on board with us as mentors. So we've been able to track their career trajectories as well. Now understand that rankings are just a starting point for your research and maybe some university that's ranked 32 on this list may not necessarily be better for you than some other university ranked 37. But if there's a difference of 20 spots between universities, then definitely the one that's higher is going to be better. Now the traditional rankings that are available in the market take into account factors like the amount of research output and the number of times professors have been cited in various journals and factors such as this. This might not make as much of a difference to you as a foreign candidate because your primary objective is to get a job that gets you good money after you spend so much on your master's. So considering this preface in mind, here are Gradwine's top 50 MS and CS universities. Alright, to start off the list, we have the Massachusetts Institute of Technology, followed by Stanford University. Then we have Carnegie Mellon University. We then have UC Berkeley, followed by Georgia Tech. Now, I don't think I need to explain why these universities are the best. These are probably the best, most well-rounded CS programs around. And therefore, they are fantastic in terms of return on investment, brand, and your overall career growth. Now, all of you Big Bang Theory fans must be wondering why Caltech was not mentioned in the top five. Please keep your pitchforks and knives aside. Caltech does not take too many Indian students for master's programs. And this list is more focused towards international applicants and hence it's not been included. And these are the best five if you're one of those applicants. All right, moving on to numbers five through 10, we have Harvard, the University of Michigan, UT Austin, the University of Pennsylvania, and Columbia. Now, even within the top 10, you'll find that some universities are significantly more expensive than the others. Therefore, even though this is a ranking, if budget is a major constraint, you might want to go to a slightly lower ranked university within the top 10 and save some money. So before we move on to the universities ranked 10 through 30, I strongly recommend that you schedule a free consultation call with us to find out how you can make it to these universities. Hundreds of our candidates have already done so in the last six years. The link to sign up for the free consultation is in the description. So now the universities ranked 10 through 30 are going to be listed on the screen. I will join you with some insights right after. So go through them. All right, now that you've seen the universities ranked 10 through 30 according to us, here are some insights about specific universities. I am a great fan of Texas A&M and Purdue because they are reasonably priced compared to the other top schools and they give you very, very similar starting salaries. Therefore, in terms of ROI, they're absolutely solid. Now, Purdue's location may not be great, but the other factors triumph over Purdue's locational disadvantage. Now, a lot of you might be wondering about names you might not have heard, like an Ohio State University. Why is it up so high? Ohio State University has some of the best research going on in multiple areas. And for all of you academically inclined folks out there, it's a great, great school. All right, now we are going to move on to the universities ranked 30 to 50. And as usual, once you're done reading them, I'm going to give you some key insights at the end, so stay tuned. All right, here's a couple of insights once you start considering universities that are ranked above 35 or so. Now, when you come to slightly lower ranked universities, the location becomes more of an important factor. Therefore, you'll find that a lot of these universities are in great locations. Secondarily, for lower ranked universities, you should try and look out for opportunities like co-ops. Co-ops give you the chance to work for an entire year during the second year of your master's. Now, a lot of times these co-ops can convert to full-time jobs or even if they don't, they're a valuable addition to your resume when you are eventually doing your full-time job search. In addition, you'll be working while you're learning, which is always an advantage, right? So once again, to reiterate, these rankings are only a starting point for you to begin your research. 
such one university may not be definitively better for you than the other because you might have so many different personal preferences so use this to start your research but then delve into the curriculums of each one for sure now gradwine's track record of placing students into the top 50 ms and cs programs is unmatched and therefore we can be your best friends throughout the application process so schedule a free consultation with us and let us help you get into these now if you found this video useful please like share and subscribe to our channel if you agree or disagree with our rankings then please comment below